Hey, it's Cam for Titania, and today I have a hands-on video of the Sony Xperia Arc. This is a new gingerbread phone, just came out from Sony Ericsson, and let's take a tour. So at the bottom we have three buttons, three Android buttons. Nice tactile buttons, menu, home, and back. Really nice to see some tactile buttons. On the top, front-facing camera, earpiece, all the normal stuff. On the side, super thin, 8.7 millimeters thick. Really thin device at the thinnest, 8.7 millimeters. We have a camera button on the on the side, very small camera button, volume rocker, and a USB out, micro USB. If we go to the top of the device, we have an HDMI out, micro HDMI out, and a power button, a very small little circle power button. We have an uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back that shoots 1080p video, loudspeaker. There's the super thin 8.7 millimeter thin device again, it's very thin. This is running a skinned version of Android 2.3 Gingerbread. The skinning is really nice on here. They didn't do something really ugly or it is a really nice, they've done a really great job skinning this device. It looks nice, it's a tasteful skin. It has just a great all-in-all -all feel and look and everything about it. It's just a nice skin on the device. There's like some cool effects Effects, and everything kind of wobbles and you drop it and pick it up. It's responsive, it's not a slow skin. It looks good, it generally does a lot to add style to the interface. It, it's a good Android skin, and that's a lot better than what Sony did with the X10. This is a much, much improved device. Open up the music app here. So this device has the Sony Reality Display, the Bravia Reality Display. It is 854 by 480, so not a super high resolution. It's a 4.2 inch screen, but it does look really nice. The colors are super crisp, they really pop, it's bright. It's a really nice display. It's just a really, really great display. If we were just looking at some photos here on the gallery application, the device was very responsive, even though it does not have a dual core. It only has a single core, to, single core processor. It was very, very responsive. No, just, it was really responsive. Here's one of the cool pinching things. You can pinch out and then you can touch any widget to go to the screen where the widget is on. That's a cool feature. We're just gonna install some widgets now. You can see some of the cool effects, like the widgets kind of fly in, which was a cool effect. Uh, this device felt really nice in the hand, just holding it. It was really nice and thin. It was, it was all plastic, but it did have very nice construction, so it didn't feel cheap. And it did, it was light, and it did feel very nice in the hand, even though it was an all plastic device. So the Sony Xperia Arc, all in all, seems like a really good device for a power user. Um, if you do not mind Android skins, you're gonna love this device. It has a great screen, it's fast, and it just seems like a great device all around. It also seems like a good device for the kind of fashion person that really likes to, things look really nice, and kind of really person who's always worried about style and fashion. Good device for that kind of person too. The device also had some cool customized features on Android where you could move around widgets, move around your grid icons and sort them in different ways. That was a nice feature of the device. It does have a really nice camera. 1080p video capture, eight megapixels, really good autofocus, really fast taking pictures. It was just a bang on great, great camera. So it, it has a lot of the pieces, great camera, great screen, fast, a nice, not an ugly or bad skin like Moto Blur or something. And it just seemed like a pretty good device. This was just a hands-on, so I don't, haven't got to use the device very much, but all in all, it did seem like a pretty good device. Um, so this has been Tectania's hands-on of the Sony Xperia Arc.